What's up everybody, Chuck Bailey with The Bass Channel and today we're going to be talking about the Asininix V2 from Nordstrom Audio. Let's check it out. So a while back we did uh, we did cover the actual first Asininix bass that was inspired by Juan Alderete and the Goya Panther. If you want to check that video out, you can look right here. So this bass uh, pretty much follows the exact same designs as the first one with a couple of small differences. The biggest difference is these three uh, vintage style single coil pickups uh, that come in the V2. Now, um, what this bass offers, and again, you can get all of the breakdown on the V1 video. Uh, I'm just going to touch on them briefly. You got uh, alder body, you got an Indian rosewood board, it's 30.7 inch scale, and 17 millimeter spacing. And I know that probably sounds a little tight on a four string, but it really does not feel uh, awkward to play, especially for being a short scale bass. Uh, they kept it real simple. It's a volume and a tone knob for that roll off. And then this is the part that makes this bass super unique and special. It's these four individual buttons. So the first one here is going to put it just for the front pickup. Okay, and then we'll put it in the middle pickup. Now we'll go bridge. Now let's do front and middle. Let's do middle and back. And then, again, this one's my favorite because I just feel like it sounds the best. It was my favorite for the V1 too. It's their all-in mode. Uh, it's kind of tricky, um, maybe just because I'm not good at it, but you have to press, there we go. You have to press all four buttons and uh, you get that uh, all-in mode, which puts uh, the middle pickup in series with the remaining pickups that are in line. So all three of them are now uh, gonna be working together and the middle pickup is in series. just sounds so much fuller it just I think you get the very best out of this bass um, when you have it in the all-in mode one new thing that they did uh, with respect to these models is they added a bunch of colors and they let you also like come right down to from what I understand you can get anywhere from your standard black to Dakota red they have a seafoam green uh, and a, like a Lake Placid Blue, it, it, you know, your standard colors that you would expect for a bass guitar, but you have options. They offer a, uh, a like a leopard style gig bag too that comes with this. This just gave me all of the vibes that I wanted, like, you know, with respect uh, to having a, a cool and unique bass. I'm a very much so black on black guy. The black pick guard against the black body looks really cool. And I went with the cream pickup covers just because I think the contrast with that, it's very vintage. It feels it feels right though. It just it just looks good. They have a ton of options for the pick guard and the body, like I said. You can pick a torp pick guard, white, uh they go check it out on their website. You really are gonna find a color and an option that you like with this bass or the V1. So we're going to do uh, another playing example with the tone rolled all the way up and then I'll go 50% and then I'm gonna take the tone completely down just so you can, again, I'm gonna keep it in all, uh, all in mode for this. This is tone and volume all the way up. Has these little chicken head style knobs, those are cool. So 
you can hear it gradually. Uh, it's not as noticeable in the 50% range. Um, it kind of feels like it was still more on the 100% range, but it's it's there's a there's a range in between 50 and zero where you as soon as you pass that it's instantly different, right? And it gets a lot more flatter, it gets a lot more fatter, it gets a lot more dark by comparison. These single coil pickups, you know, having them in this position and and the options that you have with respect to uh, the knobs that they have for the cap bays, you get a lot. A lot of tonal options so whether you're doing slap or whether you're a finger, uh, finger style player or if you're playing with a pick you're gonna get a lot out of this bass and the accessibility to those different tones again I prefer the all-in mode because I think you get the very best out of what this bass can offer in that but you know it's mileage may vary you're gonna find what you like with this bass and it gives you a lot of options where I think respectively, it's an investment that you'd be happy with because you're gonna have a lot of different tones at your disposal for whatever the gig is that you desire. This bass, I've taken on gigs, and uh, you know, oddly enough, playing original music with this felt a lot more at home than doing like the gig work that I normally have to do um, out in Vegas. Uh, just because like, if you're looking for something that um, has that kind of smaller scale feel, like if you're doing like, I don't know, Death from Above 1979 or like guitar riffs on a bass. This thing feels super comfortable for that. Uh, I If you're playing with a lot of chords or, or pick stuff, this this felt great. But I know there's a lot of players out there that um, you know play it very traditional and it sounds great. Uh, Will Burkhead is a, a, one of the Nordstrom Audio um, artists. Uh, he, he does a lot of videos with the cat bass and he's very much so a finger and a thump, uh, thump and kind of slap and pop kind of player. He's very good, he's got great taste, he's got great feel, and he makes this bass sound huge. So uh, by comparison to that style of player, which uh, you know is kind of on the opposite spectrum of what I just described as far as like guitar style riffs and things like that, it sounds great in anyone's hands that uh, is trying to do something different with it. So it doesn't matter the genre, it doesn't matter the music, it doesn't matter your experience with short scale basses, it's going to feel very comfortable. You're going to be able to take it up without any issues whatsoever and get a lot out of it. But let me know what you guys thought. Did you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you short scale players? Is this something that you would draw to or would you be more drawn to the V1 because it is inherently darker by comparison? So if you haven't had a chance to check them out, uh, everyone at the bass channel feels like these are pretty awesome instruments, but check it out for yourself. Thank you again for watching. This is Chuck Bailey with The Bass Channel, and we will see you next time.